Hi, everybody. Robin Jones, Chair of Roma. And today I'm sitting with Judy Dizel, who is the Director of LAS at AMO. And we're going to talk about cyber incident management. Hi, Judy. How are you today? I'm well, Robin. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. So tell us about this new program. You know, this new program is about helping municipalities manage their cyber incidents. Uh, so if you are breached in some way, uh, this will help you recover back to normal business as quickly as possible. But really, it's also about helping you harden your IT infrastructure more generally. All right. And, and let's talk about um, blowing LAS's horn here a little bit. Why was this program started? So LAS exists to help municipalities extend their capacity and get the best value for their money. And this program was a result of municipalities saying to us, we're not getting in cyber insurance anymore. There was a real value in the cyber insurance in terms of experts available to you if you had an incident and they were losing that. And so we started to look at ways that we could help municipalities still achieve that uh, without having cyber insurance available to them anymore. And I think we need to add the point there that this is affordable. Yes, absolutely. So what we did is when we went to market, because this is new, right? There's not a lot of uh, entities out there looking for this kind of thing. We said that we wanted to be able to accommodate large municipalities, but also the smallest municipalities. And so we do have three tiers for larger municipalities who can access retained hours for that. But we also have the ability through uh, LAS to aggregate a group of smaller municipalities and allow them to access this as well. So if they don't need, you know, the minimum floor of 20 hours, maybe between four municipalities we can get to 20 hours. And that was really important to us because rural in northern Ontario is really important to us in terms of our customers. Oh, that is great. And also, this is more than just an incident response program, isn't it? It is. So if you have an incident, obviously the uh, experts are there to help you go back to business as usual as quickly as possible. But if you're lucky in a year that you don't have an incident, you can repurpose those hours in a future year, the next year, to actually harden your IT infrastructure in whatever way you deem is necessary as a municipality. That's amazing. Why is a program like this so important? It's so important because what we don't realize is a lot of municipalities, especially small ones, they don't think they're targets, right? But they are. Um, municipalities are of interest to hackers because they have money. They have tax money. And hackers view that as a bottomless pit, basically, that they could keep pulling from. And so it's really important that municipalities have strong IT infrastructure. So many of my colleagues, I've heard them say that they're too small. They're never going to get hit. What would you respond to that? You're not too small at all. As I said, uh, these criminals are just looking for money and they know the municipalities have money. So the thing to remember is what these criminals are doing is they're actually in your systems before you know they are. It's much like having someone break into your house and go through all of your stuff. You know, the criminal could have gone into all the drawers, figured out what your bank statements are, what your insurance policies are, all of that. That's the exact same thing that criminals are doing in your systems. They know how much reserves you have. Mm -hmm. They know how much insurance you have. And they know what they can ask for as a result. Well, Judy, thank you very much. And thank you to LAS. Um, for the people from rural Ontario and northern Ontario watching this, you know, it's nice to know that LAS has really taken our perspective into account and our needs and our challenges when this program was developed. So I encourage you to go on to the AMO website, go to the LAS page, learn more, call Judy and her staff, but really, really make sure that you get the information that you need. It is affordable and it's probably something that we should all consider. So Judy, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you.